Hello, everyone. My name is Kaz from Kaz Yogini. Thank you for being here to practice chair yoga together. We'll be working on our lower back area to strengthen, avoid from having a lower back pain. I want to start off from the breathing technique. It's called draw in. What it does is to work on our inner core muscle and the pelvic floor that helps you to strengthen the muscle around your belly area and your lower back. So first, I want you to have your one hand on your belly. Inhale fully to expand your belly. And then as you exhale, you're going to suck your belly in towards the spine. Sucking in, exhale, and keep your hand there. Keep it sucked in. And then inhale with the chest. And then exhale, you're going to suck it in furthermore. Really contracting your lower abdominal muscle. Inhales with your chest. Still keeping it nice and tight here. And then exhale. Tighten up a little bit more if you can. And then inhale to release. Expanding the belly. So let's practice that for a few times at your own pace. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Expanding your belly. And then as you exhale, you're going to contract your abdominal muscle, sucking in. Inhale with the chest, still sucking in with the belly. Exhale, you're going to suck it in furthermore, contracting furthermore. Inhale. And if you can, exhale to suck it in a little bit more. Inhale to release. So let's do it at your own pace. Don't forget to relax your shoulders. Really try to feel your inner muscle, inner core muscle is at really contracted here. Keep going. Don't forget to expand once in a while so they don't get too tired. So today's practice, during today's practice, I want you to engage this lower abdominal muscle, your inner core muscle throughout the practice. And at your last exhale, let's go ahead and relax your belly. You can expand the belly, releasing your hands. Welcome back. Great job. All right. Let's start from lifting one knee to the chest, spine lengthened, and then have it a nice squeeze to the knee. So lifting it as much as you can. You might be down here or you might be up here. It's up to you. Lengthening the spine. Give yourself a nice smile. And then let's extend the knee in front of you. So you can hold on to the knee or calf muscle, stretch it as much as you can, or you can keep your knee nice and soft, completely up to you. Now let's place one hand to your hip or holding on to the chair, open up the leg to the side, opening up the hip. So I'm keeping my knee nice and bent here just to modify. If you want to extend all the way, you can use a towel to place to the sole of your foot or peace finger holding on to the big toe and then opening up furthermore. Avoid from rounding the spine. I want you to sit up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. You can do that draw in here if you wish. Sucking in the navel to the spine. Inhale. And then exhale. Let's bend the knee first and then draw the knee back to the center and release down. All right, working on the other side. Nice hug to the other knee, squeezing, squeezing as much as you can. And then go ahead and extend the knee in front. Fully extend or keep your knee soft, it's up to you. Spine lengthen. You are actually using the core here already to stand up, excuse me, sit up nice and tall. Do you feel that? Once you're ready, touching the chair or touch your hip for stabilizing yourself, opening up the knee wide to the side. You can keep your knee nice and bent or extend either touching the big toe or use the towel. 
I want you to draw your shoulder blades down, opening up the chest, hip is open, but your belly is still facing forward. Now here comes the draw in exercise here. Inhale fully to the belly, and then exhale, sucking the navel to the spine, drawing in. Inhale with the chest, keep it nice and tight here. Exhale, suck your belly in a little bit more if you can. And then let's inhale, relax in the knee, relax the belly, bring the knee back to center, and then release down. Great job. All right, let's have your feet nice and wide open, scooting your bottom a little bit forward, coming to forward fold. So sliding your hand all the way down, dropping the head. I want you to be able to completely feel relaxed here making sure you're not going to fall, your feet are grounded. Dangling the head, nodding your head, or shaking the head side to side, releasing the neck. And I want you to also feel a nice relaxation on your lower back. If you want to go further, more deeper forward fold, you can also hold on to that chair and then bring your head towards that chair making sure your chair is nice and firm, it's making sure it's not going to move. Stretching your lower back, sending positive energy towards that area. And then as you inhale, let's touch your knees with both hands, round the spine, slowly rising up, making sure you're moving nice and slow. Your head is the last one to come up. Inhale to lift your shoulders up. Exhale, release. <sighs> Two more times. Inhale. Exhale down. <sighs> one more time. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Sigh out. <sighs> Great job. Okay, from here, we'll be having your knees back to the hip width distance. We'll be twisting here. So looking to your left, you can touch the outside of your knee. Other hand's gonna touch the chair. Spine length and inhale. And then exhale, maybe you can twist a little bit more, pushing the knee with one hand. Inhale, slowly facing back to the front. To the other side, exhale. Twisting from the waistline, not just your upper body. And that twisting from your lower back. And then inhale back to the center. Great job. All right, now you're gonna have your feet a little bit wider again, having your hands together to your heart. Elbows are out to shoulders down. Now you're gonna twist without getting a help with your hand. Twisting, looking to your left. Keep it as twisted as possible. And then inhale back to center. Exhale to the other side. You can also do that draw in here as well, sucking the navel in. And then inhale back to center. Here comes a little bit more interesting twist. So what you're gonna do, have the left elbow, excuse me, right elbow touching the outside of your left knee, and then have your palms together, twisting here. So pushing that knee down with the elbow, palms gonna press down together the whole time. If you can, try to look upward And then inhale, facing down, using the core mus muscle to rise up. And let's move to the other side. So you can first place the elbow to the knee, palms together, pressing down firmly with both hands. And then elbows gonna push down to your knee, helping, it, helping yourself to twist furthermore. And again, you can still try the draw in exercise here, sucking the navel in. And then inhale, face down. You're gonna slowly come up, unwind yourself back to sitting position. Great job. All right, let's come to your 
really tip of your chair so squeezing your hip forward furthermore having your hands touching onto that chair behind you so walk your hands back walk your hands back your feet are in hip width distance lifting your hip here making sure you're not rounding the spine i want you to lift your heart shoulder blades coming together squeezing your glute together to lift your hip inhale making a straight line from the shoulder hip to the knee as much as you can and then start doing the draw in here as well so hugging your glutes together and then navel sucked into the spine inhale with the chest exhale maybe you can draw your navel in furthermore and let's inhale relaxing your glute relaxing the belly slowly bring your hip back down to the chair great job all right let's shake your hands maybe you can dangle your feet too shaking it off let's do our sun salutation a having your feet in hip width distance or a little bit wider if you wish making sure you have enough space behind you rolling the shoulders down here we go inhale reaching out both arms up towards the sky exhale let's bring your arms out in cactus leaning forward keeping your back straight draw your navel in all right go ahead and exhale touching your knees down dropping your head forward fold just like we did earlier and then inhale maybe you can come down come up a little bit higher back is straight half lift exhale to drop your head one more time inhale let's lift your left arm up twisting here exhale that hand down inhale to lift your opposite arm up spreading your wings and exhale down touching your knees with both hands round the spine slowly rise up let's inhale bringing your arms over the head exhale let's come back to the cactus arms leaning forward keeping the back nice and straight sucking your navel in all right exhale slide your hands down dropping the head forward fold inhale coming to half lift hands on your knees keeping your shoulder down towards the tailbone and then exhale folding one more time inhale let's twist lifting your left arm up exhale down inhale the other hand up keeping both hips onto the floor excuse me to the chair <laughs> exhale down without touching your knees can you come up sucking the navel in slowly rising up let's reach your arms over the head and then exhale one more time going to half lift with cactus arms pushing the elbows back opening up the chest sucking the navel in and then go ahead and drop all the way down exhale releasing inhale half lift either hands on your knees or you can try the cactus arm again if you wish and then exhale release down inhale to lift one arm up either looking up or look down it's up to you exhale both hands down inhale to the other hand and then exhale both hands down without touching your knees can you rise up sucking the navel in drawing in still and then reach your arms over the head inhale fully exhale put the energy back to the heart center Phew. great job everybody all right let's get ready for standing up which is chair pose it's called so having your feet back to the hip width distance maybe you can bring your feet a little bit closer tiny bit closer to that chair having your spine lengthened hands to the heart getting ready to stand up okay so strong quads here inhale you're gonna stand up keeping your knees bent just up to here and then exhale drop your hip down 
few more times. Inhale, lifting it up. Maybe you can reach your arms over the head, sucking the navel in, strong quads, pelvis in neutral. Exhale, drop it down. Okay, so let's keep going. Inhale to lift up, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your quads, and uh, sucking the navel in, strong core. Exhale, lower yourself down. If this is too much for you, you can always get help with your hands to lift up. Keep your hands there or keeping your hands to the heart or reach up. And then exhale, lower yourself down. Let's do one last time. We're going to pause at the top. Reaching your arms if you can, squeezing your glute, navel to the spine, strong back muscle as well, keeping your back nice and straight. And then exhale, lower yourself down. Whew, great job. All right, let's have your feet a little bit wider, bringing your knees side to side, windshield wiper motion here. Now we're getting ready to stand up. Okay, so let's take our downward facing dog. I'm just coming to the side of my chair. You can do that too. Hands on it, feet moving back. Draw your sternum, draw your head down, downward facing dog. You can keep your knees nice and soft here if you wish. Making sure your feet are in a hip width distance, separating the toes, keeping your yogi toes. For your hands, keeping your hands in a shoulder width distance, separating your fingers as well. Each inhale creating more space between the vertebrae. Each exhale, maybe you can sink down a little bit further with your chest down to the earth. Positive vibes towards your lower back. Making sure it's nice and relaxed. On our next inhale, slowly lift your head. Walking your feet towards the chair little by little, coming back to the standing position. All right, let's have your uh, foot that's away from the wall onto the chair. So the foot on the chair is facing completely forward, but the foot on the floor is kind of face towards the wall. So turning the toe towards the wall and then having both hands touching the wall, completely chest facing towards the wall. You can have your hands on the knee, making sure you're uh, loosening up your hip socket here. Inhale here, and then exhale to draw your navel in towards the spine. Inhale, exhale, sucking it in a little bit more if you can. And then let's inhale, facing back to the front. Toes gonna turn back to the front. We're gonna switch the leg. Moving slow. So this time, both toes gonna face forward. Only from the torso, from the waistline and up, it's gonna twist towards the wall again. So you can hold on to the chair, you can hold on to the top knee and push the knee inward and then you can twist furthermore. Same thing if your hand on a chair as well, making sure it's not moving. Inhale, spine lengthen, and then let's exhale, do that draw in here as well. Maybe you can twist a little bit more. Inhale with the chest, and then exhale, draw in furthermore if you can. And inhale, let's come back to the front. Switching the legs. Whew, great job. Okay, from now I'm gonna turn around to the other side. Doing the same exercise. First, let's place the foot that's away from the wall to the chair. And then the, hand, the foot on the ground is gonna turn towards the wall. So both hands touching. You can have the knee if you wish. And then facing your heart is kind of completely face the wall. Inhale here, and then exhale, suck the navel in, drawing in. Inhale with the chest. Exhale, suck it in a little bit more. 
and let's inhale to face the front. You're gonna switch the leg, moving slow. So the foot closer to the wall is gonna come down onto the chair. So this time both toes gonna point forward. Now shifting your upper body, either touching the chair or the knee, let's press down to twist furthermore, still spine lengthen, inhale, exhale, contracting your lower abdominal muscle, sucking it in, inhale with the chest, and exhale, maybe you can twist a little bit more, sucking in a little bit more, and inhale, slowly face the front, releasing the leg, great job, let's shake it off a little bit. So I want you to be able to really feel the muscle working around your core muscle. Okay, so here comes a little bit of a challenging pose. Place one foot onto the chair and let's lean forward a little bit. As you lean forward, I want you to suck the navel in. And then come back up, inhale with the chest, exhale sucking in a little bit more. Chest is open, inhale with the chest. Third time, exhale, sucking in furthermore. And then inhale, release. Let's switch to the other leg. Okay, so standing up tall, back is straight. Exhale, sucking it in, moving your hip forward. Inhale with the chest, come back up. Exhale, sucking in a little bit more. Inhale with the chest. One more time, really squeeze the abdominal muscle. Exhale. And then inhale, come back up. Great job. Keeping this foot onto the chair, leaning forward a little bit. Can you move the knee out to the side? So you can be here. It doesn't matter where your heart is at. I want you to be able to really open the hip knee out to the side, but belly is still facing forward. And then when you're ready, let's release. And we're gonna work on the other side. I'm gonna come around so that I can show you better. Other foot on top of the chair, either leaning, leaning forward or just standing up still bringing your knee out to the side. So the sole of your foot is gonna come off of the chair eventually. So rolling the shoulders down, either pressing your heart forward or sitting, standing up still, straight. Having your hand gently pressing down to the knee to help your hip to open up furthermore. And you can also do that draw in here as well. It's all about the core today. That's going to help you to stabilize and strengthen your lower back. And let's inhale, slowly come back up, bringing your knee back to the front, and then release your foot down. Oh, great job, everybody. Let's take our warrior one, placing the right foot forward, other foot back, bending the front knee. So adjust where you stand, okay? So having your front foot maybe a little bit forward if you can bend the knee a little bit more. Hopefully your knee right above the ankle, not passing the toe, hip bones facing forward. Opening up your chest once you feel nice and stable. Uh, lifting one hand up, the other hand can touch the chair or maybe you can lift both of your arms up. Inhale to elongate the spine. Exhale, maybe you can sink down with the hip a little bit more. Avoid from arching your back too much. I want you to a little bit tuck your tailbone forward even, engaging your abdominal muscle. You can practice that draw in here as well. Inhale, exhale, suck your navel to the spine, strong quads here. You can even squeeze your back hip here as well. All right, inhale, extend both of your knees, and then let's exhale, touch the chair, and fold in here. Keeping your right hip pushed back behind you so that you can keep both hips square. 
inhale exhale maybe you can sink down a little bit more on our next inhale lifting the head bending the front knee let's shift to the other side so stepping forward with the back foot and then step back with the right okay hands on your hips bending the front knee so same thing your knee right above your ankle kneecap and the toe is pointing straight forward you can roll your shoulders down touching the chair with one hand other arm lifted up or lifting both of your arms up it's completely up to you so again draw in here remember tuck your uh, belly in tucking your tailbone under so avoid from arching your lower back inhale exhale squeezing your abdominal muscle you can also squeeze this right hip inhale exhale maybe you can bend the front knee a little bit more sinking down with the hip all right inhale to lift your hip extending the front knee exhale hands forward touching the chair let's fold here dropping your heart and again pushing your left hip back to square off those hips inhale and exhale feel the calf muscle stretching your um, hamstring stretching here inhale slowly lift the heart bending the front knee stepping forward with the back foot and then come back up great job now we're gonna do a warrior two right foot is gonna step back pointing the toe out to the side this front knee is gonna bend still keeping the toe and the kneecap facing towards the front arms gonna reach out to the side inhale here exhale navel to the spine maybe you can bend the front knee a little bit more inhale and exhale nice inhale to extend the front knee let's reach towards the chair reaching reaching push your hip back touch the chair opposite arms gonna reach up triangle pose so feel the nice stretch to your waistline on a top hip area inhale and then exhale bringing the navel in sucking it in inhale with the chest exhale contracting your abdominal muscle furthermore with inhalation bending the front knee using the core muscle to rise up oh great job everybody hands together to the heart let's step forward try to make it in one step here we go ha. and let's shake it off all right i'm gonna come around to the other side stepping back with your left foot bending the front knee warrior two on the other side arms gonna reach out and making sure the kneecap is facing towards this chair rolling the shoulder down inhale exhale maybe you can sink down a little bit navel to the spine inhale and exhale inhale to extend the front knee let's reach forward towards the chair push your hip back exhale touching the chair opposite arms gonna reach up bringing your palm facing towards the screen inhale lifting your heart a little bit and then exhale bringing your nail navel to the spine feel the waistline right here is stretching inhale and then exhale with our next inhalation relax the belly bending the front knee let's rise up using the core muscle hands together to the heart let's make it to one step to see match the other foot oh great job let's shake it off come down to the chair having your feet nice and wide hands on your thighs let's touch opposite knee here reaching down reaching down reaching down so trying to stretch the lower back onto your right side 
and then lifting your arm over the head, rising up, and then come back to the sitting position. Let's do it on the other side, touching the opposite knee, reach down, reach down, reach down. So your heart is going completely towards this knee. Feel the back skin stretching, lower back, especially on your left side. Reaching your arm over the head, feel the stretch there as well. Slowly rising up and come back to the sitting. Let's do it one more time on each side. Opposite knee, sliding the hand down. So here comes the even more stretch as you lift your arm over the head right here. Do you feel that? And slowly stacking your shoulder on top of another and then rise up. <sighs> to the other side. You can go slow as much as you want. You don't have to follow me each direction. So at your own pace. Enjoy the stretch there. Stacking your shoulder on top of another and then come back up. Great job. Having your feet back to the hip width distance. Let's make yourself nice and comfortable here. Relax here as well. Coming to our most important pose, Shavasana. Roll your shoulders down, spine lengthen, closing the eyes. Feeling a nice support from the ground with the sole of your feet and the chair with the tailbone and the sitting bones. Deep inhalation, inviting more positive vibes, new ideas, new opportunity to your body and to your mind. As you exhale, releasing all the toxins, negativities, um, negative feelings out of your body, out of your mind. And becoming aware of the space between each thought. Allowing any thoughts to come and then letting them go without any judgment. Enjoy your meditation and enjoy your shavasana. Slowly coming back to your breath, coming back to your consciousness, coming back onto your chair, inviting micro movements to the fingertips and the toes, wiggling them around. You can rotate your ankles and the wrists. And let's turn your head from side to side, looking to your left, looking to your right, mindfully, slowly, releasing the neck. And let's reach your hands over the head, drawing a big circle, gathering up all the energy from the universe. See your hands touch over the head. And then exhale, putting the energy back to your heart center. Thank you everybody for joining me today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon on my next video. Thank you so much. Namaste.